Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson, another bit of uh, Oasis Live. This one is uh, Rock in Rio 2001, wonderful intro, someone asked for this, I should have checked who it was, but I didn't. So whoever you are, uh, this was your recommendation, so I gave it a go, very hard to transcribe, one of the hardest ones actually. There's definitely a bit of delay going on, which always makes my life more tricky, and he does it all the time in his live stuff, it's very frustrating. But anyway, it's a really cool uh, intro, he's using a pink telly, um, capo second fret, sounds really, really cool, so I'm gonna do my usual, I'll play through it normal speed, I'll go through it um, section by section, and in each section I'll play it nice and slowly as well. Um, there's a couple of bits here where it's very kind of free form, it's like, um, you know, this is the vibe we're getting, because it's, it feels almost silly to be really accurate with this in some ways, particularly the strumming bit at the end, because it is just free and loose and it should be. Um, but I've tried to be pr pretty accurate with all the picking bits, um, and obviously the chords are the right chords, but there's a couple, you know, I I'm going to go through a rhythm, which is like a vanilla basic rhythm, which is what I like to do, and then you can kind of make it your own from there. So give that a go. So obviously there was uh, not really a lot of effects, just a little distortion on my tone there, so it not got this kind of slight delay that he had on his. Hopefully that's going to make it easy for you guys to hear. I think it's relatively accurate, there's a couple of notes that are tricky to hear exactly, but anyway, let's just crack on and go through it. We're basically following the main chord sequence of Wonderwall, capo second fret, um, and he actually used a, a telly if you've got, if you watched the video, so it's got a slight different tone, so I've actually got a strat here. I'm using my neck pickup, I tried to use my bridge pickup, and it just sounded a bit too tinny, um, so that's why I've got a neck pickup on my strat single coils. Starts, he actually does a volume swell, but the volume on this guitar, the volume knob isn't working very well, so I didn't want to do a volume swell, but he does a swell, so he, he clearly plays the chord with, with no volume and then rolls the volume up. And that's the first chord, just a normally mine, he's only really playing like a power chord sound as well. It doesn't sound in particular like he's grabbing the G string, so he's playing second fret A and D and just grabbing um, the open E as well. Then a G chord. Always seems to do a G chord with the two fingers down the bottom, even in other songs, definitely a Wonderwall. Uh, is it a G or a G5? It looks like in his hand he's playing G's in, in a lot of the time in this song, um, so that's what I've gone for. So uh, The next bit's the really fast bit, so he gets a normal D chord shape, he um, hammers on on the E string, so it's going to be two to three. Use my pinky for that. Then I'm going to pick two, it sounds like a pick rather than a pull off to me. Third fret on the B with an up pick, I like to keep picking up. Second fret then on the G, open G I think, um, then open D. Okay, and then to get the closest sound, second fret on the D and an open G, maybe even a third fret B. Sounds pretty cool. So that little bit there would be. Yeah, I think it might just be those two. Anyway, I've been contemplating that for weeks. Uh, then I'm gonna pick up um, and basically play a D sus two. So it's gonna be open E string, third fret on that B, and then second fret on the G. And that's my kind of first cycle through this chord sequence. So I'll play it really, really slowly now. So it should be a volume swell, remember, but my volume knob's not working very well. Okay. So that's the first time through. Then it sounds like there's a little up flick before we get the next E minor chord. Um, I'm doing that D and G string is what I'm aiming for. Unnecessary, but I think he does it. Then an E minor chord, but again, we're only gonna really play it like an E5. And then I'm gonna strum the whole chord. It's, it sounds to me that you can't hear those third frets down there. 
okay? Then I've got an open sound. Uh, I'm aiming again for that D string, maybe D and G, but it's a pretty rough up strum after that E chord, so. Okay, like that. So it's, it's very fluid with the strumming. G chord. I'm gonna start with this G with a, aiming for the low strings, the E and the A. Then I'm gonna up strum the high strings. Then I'm gonna kinda of down strum everything. And in between, it's an almost dead down up. So I'm gonna go low string, high strings, down up, and then a big down. So that bit put together, which is a cool little rhythm, we'll do it slowly. Something like that. I missed one of the down strums there, but it still works. Um, I'll do it again. I'll move on from that bit, otherwise I'll just keep doing it. We're going to do something very similar um, as in the first time round. D shape, hammer on on that E string, two to three, then pick the two. Third fret on the B, second fret on the G. Sounds like there's an open G again, but you could convince me that it's not there. I might just be going crazy. Open D, he holds that. Then we're gonna pick up on an A7 sus4, okay? So that's second fret D, third fret B. And I'm just gonna pick up from the E string to the D string, so that's open E, third fret B, open G, second fret D. Okay, so that's my second time through again, I'll quickly go through it, but. So straight after that pick up, where I'm picking up, straight back into that E power chord, so it's, it's I'm shaping it like an E minor, but really I'm only playing those top three strings again. Then I'm gonna grab the F sharp note, second fret on the E string. Then I'm gonna grab a G, but again, I'm only gonna strum the top part of the G. So, from this bit of time two, straight in. After here, I'm gonna then strum the high part of a G. Aiming for D string downwards, really. But again, it's pretty vague, it's quite loose and free, it's a live version, so, so feel free you know, to, to, to put your own little spin on it. Um, that's definitely what feels comfortable to me, so it's probably like 75% Nargallon and 25% me a little bit, so <laughs> this, this kind of thing. Um, so. It sounds like just before we do the, which we're gonna do again, there's an open D string, and it looks like in the video he's picking again there, so I think it's an open D string. It's very hard to hear, and it's probably unnecessary, but I think it's there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. Hammer on on that E string, two to three. Then play two, three, two on the G. Again, it sounds like there's another note. Open G, open D, like that. So that's basically the same every time on that fast bit. That's what you're looking for there, kind of speed-wise. Uh, not the most fun bit to play, um, but that, that sounds to me like what he's doing. And if you can get that once, when you have to do it three times, so you'll be fine if you can do it once, kind of thing. That makes sense. Then, this third time, we're gonna change a little bit. We're gonna pick up, open E string, third fret on the B, open G. So that's all pretty normal, but then we're gonna play third fret on the A, suggesting a C add nine. So the rhythm we've got for this final part of the intro, we've got a down on that third fret on the A string. And then we're gonna kinda of do an up, down, up is the feel. Now in the actual live version, you can see he down picks a lot of that to make it sound more aggressive. But the rhythm feels like, and for what he's doing most of the rest of the time, it's gonna be an up, down, up. So down, up. Uh, yeah? But this first time, what he actually does is he goes down, and then kind of three downs, like that to make it sound more aggressive. Now, this first time he's not just strumming the chord as well. He's aiming for the D and the G string around there, maybe catching the B, maybe catching the A. Um, sounds like it's an open D string as well. Uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Let me do that third time through nice and slowly and then we'll move on to the final bit. So we start with the E minor. Okay, 
Then, so, so now we're at the D, and so it's all about trying to get that uh, rhythm right. So straight after the C picked, we hit that D, and it's a D5 chord. That's open D, second fret on the G with our first finger, and third fret on the B with our ring finger. And we're going to go uh, down strum. Now, the next bit is really loose, and it changes every time, and he's not even really thinking about it. He's just down-upping, effectively. Um, and that's what I'm doing when I'm playing it through. It's, it's very loose and it changes all the time. So I'll play it through slowly uh, and then we can talk about the strumming a little bit. Okay. Okay, so from that picking, I'm going to go up, down, up, and I'm going to do that hammer on. Then I'm going to go back to the D5 with a down, and then I'm going to pick up open really as I move back chords. C add nine. Hard to see whether he puts his first finger down. It's a little different tonal sound. I think he's not got his first finger down personally. That's my, that's my guess. Um, and then I'm going to go up, down, up. Then to the D5. Up, down, up. Hammer. Down, up. And again, that final time kind of open as we move chord. Now, I am throwing in a few extra strums, but that's like a vanilla version that you can work from. Um, and we're just going to do it exactly the same another time. The C add nine. Down, up, down, up. D5. Up, down, up. Hammer down up on the D and the final chord is actually an A an A power chord really is what it sounds like you can leave your ring finger down um, and he does in the video you can see he does but it doesn't sound you can't hear that D note so it's just an A power chord which would be open A second fret D and second fret G okay so as I said not uh, not 30 seconds ago or so I'm doing it pretty free and pretty relaxed, but that rhythm down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. It's just the whole little sequence through the C to the D hammer and all the all the palaver there. We'll get you through it, will sound pretty good, and you can use that as your basis. But effectively throw in strums, take out strums, just do what feels right for you, because that's what he's doing, it's really free. Um, and I'd rather say that than go into the minutia of every single strum, because that's not really the point. You know, it's, it's just trying to get it so that it sounds cool. So let me do that final bit uh, slowly again, just so you can uh, hear it through. So I'll go from the little picked bit on the C. Okay, guys, as usual, well done if you made it this far. Um, hopefully you found this useful. It's probably more a... Uh, a guide rather than a super super accurate transcription um, but hopefully that works for you um, I think it sounds pretty cool uh, if you play it through and hopefully you do too and hopefully you found it useful as usual um, please like and comment and subscribe it really helps it really I mean genuinely it really makes a massive difference on YouTube please check out my other social medias again follow me on there I try and put the tabs up on, on my Instagram they're pretty rough and ready the plan is at some point in the future to start putting them up on my Patreon because um, I haven't really done a lot with my Patreon yet so that'll be the plan at some point but I'll have a I'll do a vlog video when I start doing that and we can we can go from there. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate uh, everyone's support. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon for some more cool, probably Oasis songs, let's face it. Maybe some high-flying birds. Oh, my phone's ringing. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.